Shalom. Before I get started, I'm gonna give all uh, honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles, great millstone, rule well, and teach well. Shalom to the hopefully like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity. And shalom to a few sisters that's taking heed and getting the orders at these last days. Right? And the brother I'm a one coming through the video, Lord, when it's edifying. Right? And um, it's really just going to about what I had to go through. Uh, it was actually two days ago. You know, and it just led me through the spirit to actually do a video behind it. You know, because it, it gets deeper, man. Because we know that they, in these certain situations, you're going to have to, you know. Um, so as I was uh, leaving home, doing like a lamb and a half hour shift, you know, I got in the car, you know what I'm saying? I'm just driving home, you know, kind of tired, right? And uh, as I'm, you know, about 20 minutes away from home, you know, um, I see a state trooper, you know, he was beside me, you know, and they see me, he started slowing down. So I was like, you know what? I feel like you want to get behind me and mess with me. And then I just noticed ain't even had my seatbelt on so but his tent's so dark you can't see inside his car you know so i'm like damn it is what it is you know i'm just you know what i'm saying what if you give me a ticket it is what it is because i was in the wrong you know but um so he pulled me over you know and and when i seen the lights hit you know when i seen the lights got on me hey i immediately like you know let me go hang it over you know i ain't even starting to confusion because i was in the wrong you know but the point of the um, fact is uh matter of fact i'm gonna scratch all of that right from what I said from the beginning, you know, it, it's deep. Like I said, it, it's deeper because, like I said, the, the Bible helps you get throughout situations. You know what I'm saying? You know, because you're using your prudence, right? Which was, you know, prescribed to you from your high by Shmuel was shot, right? So, like I said, I seen the lights hit, and they I immediately got down. You know, uh, went to, you know, what I'm saying, went, we'll try to go pull over. You know, and hey, by the time, you know, by the time he, um, the officer got, you know, to the car, I was already. Uh, I already had the window down. Yeah, I was trying, you know, uh, waiting for him, you know. So he come down, and uh, he looked over, and he was like, uh, "Hey, you know, I'll push you over." And I was like, at the time, I was like, "Nah," just to see what he was gonna say. And, you know, he was like, "You ain't had your seatbelt on." So like, he was like, "You ain't had your seatbelt on." And I was like, "You know what? Hey, that's my fault. You know, I, I, I take full responsibility for that." You know. And then he was like, "License or uh, registration? Your license?" And I was like, you know, because we, we watch the news and we see how things get dead serious, man. I've been in this situation plenty of times where I was a career could have blew my shit because he was that nervous, you know. So um, I asked him, pretty much I say that because, you know, when you got a when you got a fidget around, uh, 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 cops get nervous, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, I told him, I was like, hey, I, my wallet's in my pocket, you know, my wallet's in my pocket. So that gave him the, he understood, like, okay, this, you know, because they, they know, you know, they know how that all of that fidget, it can, it can go left. So I already gave him the warning, like, hey, my, 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 uh, my wallet is in my pocket. I reach for it whenever you let me, you give me that green light, I'll do it. You know, he was like, oh, man, you good, man, you good, appreciate that, you know. And then after that, you know, um, he, uh, he was like, hey, man, how far you got to go? And I was like, shit, I got about 30 more minutes, I'm coming from Forest Park, you know. And I was like, shit, I just been working an 11 and a half hour shift. He was like, oh, shit, I know how that shit get. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, then I just hopped in the car and I was just driving. You know what I'm saying? I was just trying to get get home. You know what I'm saying? I, I really just slipped my mind, put my seatbelt on. You know? So he was like, man, just get home safely, man. He ain't even, he ain't even, uh, even take my license from me, man. You know? But the whole point of that small story, he was like, you know, he was like, you ain't got to pull it all the way out, man. You ain't got to pull out your license, man. I understand what you're saying. I'm, 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 um, I'm uh, glad that you agree. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you cooperated correctly. You know? It's so like, hold on. All right? He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm um, appreciate for cooperating, you know, correctly. You know? And so after that, you know, he like I said, he just uh, told me, just keep going and put your seatbelt on. Right? But all that I'm saying, all that, that, that story is bringing out the book of Matthew 5 and 25. You know? Because we have to agree with our adversary quickly. You know? Because we know what can happen bullshit because when i say that because i was watching an instagram video and you had this jake going back and forth. it was probably like five officers you know what i'm saying uh on his ass man he didn't got tased and everything he taking the taser thing out of him and everything man you know folks telling him to stand down and all of that you know he not going i mean of course he don't know the scriptures because he would have been he would have done so it's like it. 
he would have, he, uh, of course, he don't know the scriptures because he would have done so, you know. But um, the thing is, and he he kept uh, he kept bucking up against the the, uh, the law, you know. He kept bucking up against the authority, right? And he started to he tried to jump off the porch while the officers was and tried to make the run, or or they didn't they how how it was he didn't know if he was running towards the officer or or he was just trying to jump off the porch and run a different way. But the thing was. He ran. He, he tried to make a run, and they shot his ass, man. Overkill, man. Probably had about shit, goddamn ten bullets in him, you know. But the point is, you know, he's using prudence, man. Lord willing, this this right is, is hitting home, you know. But the thing is, <clears throat> it's about um, you know, a group. You gotta reach your adversary quickly, man. You know, cause shit can change from, you know, from you. Going back for the officer to, you know, you getting your life took, man. You know? And also, you know, I want to tie this in with the times we're coming into. You know, um, for the brother that's in this truth, sister that's in this truth, right? We come to a time where uh you're gonna be uh um gathered from gathered from out of your house. Matter of fact, so like if I even go that far, let me grab the um wait, I, I could have waited, but I'm gonna grab it right now and I'm also going to um what I want to go into. It's the book of Matthew 5 and 25. And this is right here in the red letter, you know, indicating that Yahweh Shah speaking. He says, Agree with thine adversary quickly, right? While thou art in the way with him. You know? And this all uh, and you can land back on off the time with the uh, with, um the camp Wi-Fi, man. And they got into the officers and shit, got them he the one of the head, the other head, you know, he wanted to buck up. And that caused us to get thrown in jail, man, all because he couldn't agree with them and just move around, you know? He can get yourself a lot of situations just by agreeing, man. Not saying being no sucker or uh, by receiving the sea hip. No, that's the time to go against the grain, you know? One of the day-to-day -day things, right, to, to that degree, you learn how to agree and, and keep maneuvering, man, you know? But it says agree with thine, agree with thine adversary quickly, you know? And um, I want to speak on... Uh, you know, we come to a time where we're going to be gathered up out of our houses. You know, we're going to be going inside these concentration camps to be idle, right? Offering things to idols, man, right? Which is going to be that, that, that sea hill, you know? But before we even get to that, that sea hill station, right? You got to, we got to agree to adversary, man. You know, everybody's not going to be able to make it into the wilderness, you know? moving around from house to house. Some people are gonna have to show their faith even sitting inside that cell. You know, that that, that concentration camp. And then and you still gotta hold it down to the end. You know? But the thing is using that prudence, man. You you being wise, you know, and because your lot could be to go to the, 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 the feeding camp, you know, but you didn't ruin it because you wanna disagree with the man why why the troops all little seven troops on you. You ain't get no spiritual power yet, no none, and you trying to buck up against this? No, man, go go with the troops, man. You know, let your how about you with shot keep showing them works. That's what you're gonna keep doing. You know, because you're gonna be inside one of those concentration camps, and then the spiritual power may kick in. Why you inside the inside the cell? But you, you gotta greet your adversary, man. You know, low like I said, low is, is hitting home. Like I said, I just, I just seen that video and actually me going through. What I had to go through, it was nothing hard. It was just, you know, using the common sense that, you know, the Lord gave us, you know, you get up out of that situation, right? Hey, I used the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh right, and got delivered up out of that situation, right? That's, that's just the point, you know? Um, it, uh, like I say, um, matter of fact, it's the book of Revelation 2 and 10, you know, cause we, like I said, we can get delivered up out of our situation, man. Come to a time where we, we may, like I said, we may be thrown inside the concentration camps. Use the prudency, man. Stay down. Use the common sense that the Lord has blessed you with, and watch him work. <laughs> right? It sounds funny because I'll be watching little rap battles. You know, they be like, watch me work. Uh, Revelation two and ten. It says another red letter as well. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold the devil, right? Esau, Edom, so-called white man, 
It says, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That he may be tried. Well, hey, going back, going back to my 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 uh my, my uh situation. You know, he could have not bought a story. And he could have said, you know what? Hey, you gotta come with me still. And guess what? I would agree with it. You know, because I know he's not I know he's not trying to insert the, the, the secret beside me, right, right then on the spot. So I, I gotta go, I gotta go as planned, man. You know, okay, cool, all right, you know. But we know we come to that time period where uh you're gonna be inside the uh, uh like I said, them, them camps, man. You got uh what it says in second edge, no, it's Ecclesiastes 4 and 28. I ain't mistaken. You know, uh be faithful unto death, right? But um kind of kind of thoughts so like I'm gonna finish this off. Revelation 2 and 10 it said, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Right? It says that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, and be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And, and that's what I seen through the spirit, man. Because we come to a time where hey, like I said, you know, my in my lesson uh yesterday, hey, them troops can be rolling up on your ass around crackhead hours, man. Four, five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. You know? Then you got these 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 sleeper cells ready to get active. They can't speak English, you know? So they can't speak English, and you around here, got down, trying to uh, tongue wrestle with them folks, man. They're going to they lay you down inside the house. You know, agree with them. You know? It's just trying to build faith, you know? We know that some of us going to be inside those uh, congregation, um, concentration camps, man. But be faithful, you know? You got you to show that faith. That's just like Nishaya Shavak and Abednego. Shit, they, they ain't bow down, but guess what? They had to go inside. They had to get in. They had to get in there. They had to get in the furnace, man. You know, they had to really prove. You know, prove it. Same thing as us, man. No construction counts would be some bottle to some bottle to a goddamn furnace, man. You finna get tried. Got that? Got that? See, hip right down on you. You know, and you got the guillotine. You know, so something gonna happen to where you, hey, you pick your poison. Your guillotine take see hip. You know, I take this. Uh, the, uh, the guillotine, you know, right? But it's just the point, man. Like you know, like I said, when it's, it's, it hit home, it's at a point, you know. But it's just the, like how I saw it is, hey, man, using that prudence you know, that that the Lord has gave you will get you out of situations, man. You know, and this is this is not saying using prudence to take the sea hill. But that hell, that's not what, you know what I'm saying at all, you know. I'm just saying, leading, the leading up to the point, you know. Hey, we come to a time where, hey, Jacob show pop off, and you may get rounded up. Hey, go with them, man. You know, don't sit here and try to fight these folks, and <laughs> the Lord ain't give you the, the power to do so, you know. But like I say, Lord, when this lesson was edifying to the point, and I'm going to close out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to you. How about Shemi Shah? By Shemi Bakadash. Until next time, I say Shalom.